Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode is going to be a little bit different than normal and we're going to be checking out a new user interface for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So if that's something that interests you, then I think you should stay tuned right here on 2020 Flight Simmers. Hey everyone, welcome back to the home screen on Microsoft Flight Simulator. And as you can see, it is a little bit different than what you're used to seeing. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the brand new Wingman FS2020 Modern User Interface. Hey, if this is your first time joining us on the channel, I'd love to welcome you. Highly suggest you go down below and hit that subscribe and take that little bell because you don't wanna miss any future videos just like this one. And if you do like the video today, a thumbs up to the channel would be highly appreciated. So if you want to get this add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator, links will be down in the description. It is a pretty cool add-on, so I highly suggest you go over there and check it out over at flightsim.to. But for now, let's explore a little bit of some of the new changes to the new user interface. So as you can see here on the main screen, it is designed and set up a little bit differently to be a little more user friendly, I guess you could say. Oh, and by the way, all of your normal option menus are right here at the top and you can click on these. Now, these have also been changed a little bit. You'll notice right here when I click on the options, we have a couple different images here for the background. But as you can see, everything is kind of set up the same. So you can go to your normal general options. You can go to your assistance options and you can go to your control options just like you normally would. But we're not here to look at any of that stuff because that's all old news. Let's go back to the main screen and let's take a look at the new setup. So now if we take a look at the bottom here, we can go right into our general options now instead of having to go through the options menu. If we click on this, it takes us right there. So I think that is pretty cool. We can go right into my hangar now and it will take us right in to your current hangar and whatever plane you've got loaded up. As you can see, we got the CJ4 and a awesome, awesome Coast Guard livery. We'll get into that on another episode. So if we go back again, you can go to your content manager and it's all pretty much the same. Now, here's some of the cool things. As you see, the world map here has got some cool little widgets or icons on the screen on the uh, menu here. So let's click on it and load up your world map. Now, on the world map, it's pretty cool because now if you hover over something, it doesn't block out everything that's behind it with the words and text. It's kind of transparent, so I think that is pretty cool. If you click on something and set your departure, that seems to work pretty much the same. But again, now you can kind of see through that, and that was kind of a hindrance before. If you wanted to kind of get close to something that was behind it, you couldn't see it. So I think that is a great addition. And we come down here, let's just set an arrival airport. And again, you can see how it's kind of transparent. So that is really, really cool. The next new features, if you come up here to flight conditions, we've got a couple really cool new flight conditions that are in this menu too. Now it has all your normal preset weather conditions for clear skies, few clouds, scattered clouds. But if we keep on scrolling down, you can see that we've got some new additions here. So you can change it to fall, summer, scattered clouds, high flying clouds, massive clouds. The one of the coolest things I really like is if you keep going down, you can set it up for icy conditions or lots of snow. Now, I think these additional weather settings are really, really interesting to try out. And if you like flying in different types of weather, I highly suggest you pick up this add on and just check it out. If you don't like it, go ahead and delete it. But for me, I think it's really, really cool. And if we hop over here to Navlog, everything here looks pretty much the same in the Navlog. Now let's take a look at some of the other menus. So if we go down here to the bottom where it says more and you click on that, then you can open up some filters here. I'm not sure if these are the same on both user interfaces, but I think a lot of people don't know that these are here. So I thought I would just show you anyway. So there's a couple cool little filters that you can turn on here, like wind effect. So the one thing with the wind effect, you can adjust whether you wanna see either high level wind, low level wind, or ground level wind. So depending on what kind of plane you're gonna be flying, I think this is gonna be really useful 
because if you're going to be in a Cessna, well, I really don't care what the wind is 40,000 feet in the sky. I care what the wind is down low. So I think that is really cool that you can customize this a little bit. Now, if you go to the bottom of this, we can turn on a couple other cool features, which would be the air spaces and nav aids. I really love the air spaces. So let me show you what that does. Now, if we go back to our main screen here and we zoom out, now we can see all the ground level wind effect that's occurring around the globe. But if we zoom way in here, now you can see the map kind of come to life with all of those cool air spaces. Again, I'm not sure that everybody knows about this, but this really helps us out. So if you're trying to use the built-in flight planner or Microsoft Flight Simulator, I think this really adds the next level of immersion to that. Now also, if we zoom in here, you can see that it's also displaying the wind and direction at each of these airports. So I think that is pretty cool as well. In any case, I think this is a welcome add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator, and it kind of takes us to that next step of immersion. If you guys liked the video today, head on down below and smash on that thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and take that little bell. And to all of my flight simmers out there around the world, keep the blue side up. We will see you on the next one. Thanks everybody for watching.